like Julius Caesar, King Henry I of England finally resolved to take the money power away from the goldsmiths about 1100 A.D. Henry could have used anything as money, seashells, feathers, or even yak dung, as is often done in remote Tibetan provinces. But he invented one of the most unusual money systems in history. It was called the tally stick system. Here I have one of the few surviving examples of this form of British money, which lasted 726 years until 1826, a tally stick. The tally system was adopted to avoid the monetary manipulation of the goldsmiths. Tally sticks were money fabricated out of sticks of polished wood. Notches were cut along one edge of the stick to indicate the denominations. Then the stick was split lengthwise through the notches so that both pieces uh, still had a record of the notches. The king kept one half to protect against counterfeiting. Then he would spend the other half into the economy and they would circulate as money. This particular tally stick is huge. It represented 25,000 pounds. One of the original stockholders in the Bank of England purchased his original shares with this stick. In other words, he bought shares in the world's richest and most powerful corporation with a stick of wood. It's ironic that after its formation in 1694, the Bank of England attacked the tally stick system because it was money outside the power of the money changers, just as King Henry had wanted it to be. Why do people accept sticks of wood for money? That's a great question. Throughout history, people traded anything they thought had value and used as money. You see, the secret is that money is only what people agree on to use as money. What's our paper money today? It's really just paper. But here's the trick. King Henry ordered that tally sticks had to be used to pay the king's taxes. This built-in demand for tally sticks immediately made them circulate and be accepted as money. And they worked well. In fact, no other form of money has worked so well for so long as tally sticks. Keep in mind, the British Empire was built under the tally stick system. The tally stick system succeeded despite the fact that the money changers constantly attacked it by offering the metal coin system as competition. In other words, metal coins never went completely out of circulation, but tally sticks hung on because they were good for the payment of taxes.